What's cracking with your snacking, Snacker Stars? It is me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you from 85 degree Alexandria, Virginia, and coming at you from Taco Bell, because I've heard they've come out with something amazing and exciting and something I've never heard of, and something so inventive that I can't wrap my brain around it. What is it? Find out right after this on OTR. You are looking live at Taco Bell on Van Dorn Street in the Van Dorn Street Station. A uh, highly upgraded Van Dorn Street Station if you've seen a lot of my videos in the past. And if you look in the distance there, uh, you'll see there's something coming in very soon called the Club Burgers and Sandwiches. So that'll be very interesting to review once it's open. Uh, they've given this place a facelift, a lot of new and interesting and actually old food uh, choices in here including a Safeway. I'm right next to a Wendy's right over there. And of course, that is the Taco Bell that used to be a bank. But anyway, I'm here today to take a look at their newest creation. I mean, good Lord, it took a genius to put this one together. You see that it says special right on the freaking wrapper. So it must be absolutely just whiz bang something that nobody's ever thought of or done before, right? Right? Well, we'll find out. Let me get this thing out of the wrapper. Well, it's a burrito. It is their loaded taco burrito. Okay. It's got double beef, uh, shredded cheese, sour cream, avocado ranch, lettuce, and tomatoes. All right. So basically, it's a burrito, right? What am I missing? Um... Oh, and it's got the uh, the little red uh, crunchy strips that they put in a lot of their burritos anyway. So I'm completely uh, flummoxed and confounded as to how this is in any way, shape, or form a taco burrito. But we'll continue on. Um, as, as you can see, it's just a burrito. So we'll go ahead and open it up for you for the sake of experimentation. Unfold the tortilla. And there you go. Yes, you see all of the things that I mentioned before looking like uh, hmm, a diaper or something, I don't know. Uh, smells like Taco Bell, looks like Taco Bell. Got a little bit of everything in Taco Bell inside this burrito. So let's go ahead and wrap it back up. And I'm gonna put it in my mouth for you right after this on OTR. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this brand new, super inventive and creative burrito from Taco Bell, the loaded taco burrito. First of all, I think the name should be, if they're going to do it this way, they should call it the loaded taco supreme burrito because it's got pretty much everything a taco supreme has in it, right? Except for the addition of that, um, the uh, ubiquitous uh, avocado ranch sauce that they seem to put on everything nowadays here. Uh, show it to you next to my noggin the way I always do. $1.49, I mean, for this amount of food is not a bad deal. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and take a bite of this thing, man. I'm excited. Okay, okay, I, I think I missed the taco on the first bite. Let me go ahead and get another one and see what's up. Yeah, that tasted just like a burrito. Holy crap, it's a burrito with lettuce in it. Who's ever heard of that? That must be a taco, I don't know. Holy crap, it's got some red crispy things in there. So do half of the burritos in that damn place. What is going on here? I mean, are all tacos then burrito tacos because they have the same ingredients that a burrito has in it? I don't get the uh, translation here. I'm completely lost. I don't know what's going on, man. Am I taking crazy pills or something? This is just like the uh, stupid cookies and cream Oreos. That's Oreos flavored Oreos, man. What the hell are you thinking, guys? Holy crap. Somebody got paid 80 million Deutschmarks to make this burrito. 80 million Deutschmarks, and this is all they could come up with, man. They didn't do something clever like uh, wrap a crispy shell with a tortilla in some manner, make a burrito that's the shape of a taco. They couldn't do any of that, man. 80 million Deutschmarks, you know? And it's just, I'm beside myself because somebody actually got paid to put their creativity to this, man. A four-year-old child could come up with this. All they did is take more of their same crap that they always have in their restaurant and put it into a burrito and call it something else. Now it's $1.49 and it tastes like Taco Bell. So is it worth that? Yes. But is it a success in any shape, way, shape, or form? Hell no, because this is the stupidest item I've ever freaking reviewed. 
Oh my God, I may ban Taco Bell for a while after this. I don't really know. I have absolutely no use for this burrito whatsoever. I don't care what happens to it. It can go away. It can die. I just don't care. I really just don't care. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give that a uh, full thumbs down. I don't normally give things that are edible a full thumbs down, but that is absolutely ridiculous and stupid, guys. Whew. All right, let me compose myself a little bit. Thank you, everybody, for letting me vent. Um, coming up this Friday, I already told you about it on Pizza Night, but this Friday I'm going to be at the Nova Pro uh, show. Uh, it's going to be the Commonwealth Cup out of the JCC in Fairfax on Little River Turnpike. Told you all the participants in the matches in the tournament, but what I did not tell you is that the tournament is going to have a special format. It's going to be a regular singles uh, match tournament for the first uh, round, but then for the second round, uh, block A and Block B winners are going to face off in two elimination three-way dances or triple threat matches or whatever you want to call them. I don't know what you call them, but I call them triple threats. Uh, and then after that, the winner of those two triple threats will then take on each other in the final for the Commonwealth Cup. So Block A, by the way, I didn't tell you the blocks, is John Kerman versus Tracy Hot Sauce Williams. Chet Sterling versus Alex Daniels, Logan Easton LaRoe versus uh, David Starr. Sorry, forgot the name there for a second. And Block B is going to consist of Eric Royal versus Trip Cassidy from the Carnies, uh, Bobby Shields versus Jonathan Gresham, and Donovan Dijak versus Mr. Wrestling Tim Donst, making his return to Nova Pro after the big. Uh, Falls Count Anywhere, No Holes Barred Brawl that they had back at Saturdays of Thunder with where the Legos came into play. It was absolutely f fantastic. One of the best matches I've seen in Nova Pro. And you know what? I think somewhere upwards of 10 Snack Society members are going to be at this Nova Pro show. So if you're in the North Northern Virginia area, make sure you get down to the JCC by 8 o'clock Friday night and get your ticket while you can. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Join the SAS on Facebook by clicking on the link down below. Join hundreds of the coolest people in the world that are in our group, and you should be too. Why aren't you? Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Brandon Reich SAS. When you do, make sure you use the hashtag Snack Society. That way you find out what we're eating and we can find out what you're eating too. Also, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. That's the way we keep going, guys. In the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.